Hi guys, welcome to All Things Careers with Mpumeri. If you're joining us for the first time, please don't forget to like, like and subscribe. And if you are returning to our channel, thank you very much. Uh, today I'm sitting with Theo. Um, she'll get to introduce herself. Uh, then Theo, you can go. Hi guys, I'm Theo and I'm happy to be here. I am featured in yet another YouTube channel. And um, yeah, man, thank you so much for having me. So yeah, I'm Theo. What else do you want to know? <laughs> Now I want to know where does Theo come from Okay. And the, the high school that you went to. So um, I'm from Tembisa. I grew up in Tembisa. I was born okay. in Tembisa. I've lived all my life in Tembisa, unfortunately. And um, I went to a high school in, well, I did my primary in a lot of schools around Tembisa. Okay. Except for one year where I went to Lumpopo. And uh, for my high school, I went to a school called the Komiseni in Ivory Park. And yeah, I went there from grade 8 all the way through metric. Oh, nice to hear that. Uh, now we want to start where the passion of doing radiograph so by the way she's a, a radiographer yeah. and uh, if I'm, I'm, i think today you're going to clear a lot of myth that i have yes. and also our viewers have because growing up uh, hearing about radiograph i thought it's something that has to do with media you work Can at I tell radio you something? And yeah. you're not the only one you're not the only one yeah. so one time some guy bumped into me and you know how guys are yeah and he was like oh yeah anyway are you studying or working I'm like no i'm still a student what are you studying radiography yeah and with so much confidence he said oh yeah plus you have the voice for it <laughs> what do you mean i have the voice for it i couldn't even correct him and say yeah. no not, not that, that. Yeah. radiography so i was just like mm, thank you <laughs> and we just left it at that i don't know if he later went to find out what radiography is or if still to this day he thinks i have the voice so i think we're going to help a lot of you who think radiography has to do with uh, media or something to uh, uh, the radio space. Yeah. So let's talk uh, grade nine, yes. which uh, uh, not grade nine, grade ten. Ten. Uh, which modules were you doing? Which subjects were you doing? So I did uh, the science stream, which okay. was like your maths, physics, and life science, and I also did CAT computer applications. Oh, okay. So well, I I had to go into that because in grade nine and below, I didn't enjoy commerce. I didn't enjoy business or whatever it was always i i loved life si natural sciences yeah. i loved natural sciences more so i'm like okay i enjoy natural sciences so might as well just go into physics and life science so i found myself in that space so when you were choosing the science stream did you know that you are going to do radiography or you were just going for the science stream because you enjoyed life science um yes for both okay. so i didn't know specifically i wanted radiography I just wanted to be in health, but in health also I knew I do want to be a nurse. Okay. So whatever in health, but not nursing. So I knew if you want to be in health, you have to do maths, your physics, and your life sciences. So that's how I chose my my subjects. Oh, nice, nice to hear that. Um, so while you are you are choosing your modules and everything, your subjects mm -hmm. for 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 grade um, ten, so you went to the science stream, and then going forth, uh, grade eleven and grade twelve. How was the performance there uh, in, in terms of your marks, life science? Because now you know you want to go into health science, yes. uh, to, to a health um, uh, career. And in order for you to be in one of those, you need to at least balance your subject in terms of life science and your mathematics. Yeah. How, how was the performance there? So in grade 10, you know you go in with that mentality that everybody yeah. says that, yo, grade 10 is sharp, oh, grade 10 is difficult, yeah. blah, 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 you have to be serious, people are failing grade 10. And that was the case actually even in my school because we had so many grade 10 classes and fewer grade 11 and 12 classes. Yeah. So when you got into grade 10, it was that, yo, I have to work, grade 10, you fail, if you don't work, you fail. So my performance was really good. And then when I got to grade 11, they're like, these are the marks you use to apply to varsity, blah, blah. So there's always that pressure that you that always now have you need to, to improve yes. on your performance. So I think though my grade 11 was not better than my grade 10, but it wasn't bad, but grade 10 was much better. And yeah, okay, we'll get to the application process, but it was good enough to get me to apply. Okay. And um, yeah, grade 12, you're we like, this is your acceptance in university depends on these marks, so you have to work. So it was constantly that you have to work. If you don't pass here, you're going to fail. If you don't do this, you're going to get to school. So, so uh, now, <clears throat> when did you start applying for uh, Vasita and which ones did you apply to? Uh, I started end of grade 11 okay and I applied okay so like I said I knew I wanted to be in health but, but you're not sure of this yes 
So I think maybe we'll go back to how I actually found out about radiography. But when I applied, I usually, I applied mostly for other health things like medicine, pharmacy. Yeah. Um, what else did I apply for? Mostly just for medicine and pharmacy. And then radiography only to one university. They only applied a DJ for radiography. radiography, yes. And then for all these other ones, I applied to different, different universities, okay. yes. So fortunately, um, as time went on, I actually decided I actually do like radiography. I enjoy it more than all the other things I was applying for. And yeah. By God's grace, UJ accepted me and... So how, how, how do you find out of uh, radiograph? Because now uh, you wanted to be in health, but you didn't know radiograph yes. and you didn't know which one you want to choose. You applied all of them. When did you find interest to say, okay, let's go for uh, radiograph. radiography? Okay. So rewind to grade nine. Yes. So our school had a career expo vibe happening and would go learn about different careers and the one career that was mostly emphasized was engineering yeah and because i was a girl there was that thing that transnet was doing about introducing girl children into to, engineering yeah. yeah so our school would send us for job shadowing every time school closed you school holidays would go job shadow so when i was there i'm like nah man i don't feel this engineering thing like it's not for me i want to help, help i want to work with people okay. not machines not i don't want to wear boots to work like <laughs> i want to be with people yeah so yeah that's when i decided i don't want to be in engineering but i didn't leave the job shadow okay because they used to give us a stipend and i'm like i want the money <laughs> if i stop going so they're yeah. gonna give us the money so yeah okay. i kept going for the job shadowing every school holidays that's and nice. um, as far as finding out about radiography goes, um, we went to Saibono, now I was in grade 10. It was another career expo, and the facilitator there was asking us questions. So she was asking, do you know what a, a doctor does? Yeah. People raise up their hand, a doctor says, oh, do you know a civil engineer? Do you know what what? So she was asking different careers. And then she asked, do you know um, a radiologist? She didn't say radiographer, she yeah. said a radiologist. And then we were all going radio vibe. Oh, no, it's the person that presents. No, it's the person that uh, <laughs> yeah. con do, does the connections. The person that fixes the radios. Yeah. We were all just media wise. And then she just said, oh, no, it's a bone doctor. She didn't say anything specific, whatever. So I'm like, bone doctor? In my head, bones. Like, yeah, I was thinking you. a stongom. Yeah. <laughs> bones. Oh, I mean, bones. You're it's throwing It's a fancy way of saying a stongom. Yeah. Why would she say a bone doctor? <laughs> and okay, from there on, it was always at the back of my head. And so um, we had, this is the third career expo. And it was hosted at school. Okay. So amongst the people who came to visit was a radiographer. So she was a young girl, really pretty. And so they're like, okay, if you're interested in health, these are the people you should talk to if you're interested in blah, 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 blah. So I went to talk to the radiographer girl. And okay. I'm like, I've heard about radiography, but that lady said it's, uh, I know about radio, radio, um, radiologist, but she said it's a bone doctor. Are you a bone doctor? So I'm yeah. like, oh no. Then she started explaining everything, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, actually, I like this. And yeah, after the seminar, this girl went to her car and I'm like, yo, she has a car. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a radiographer because she was like, yeah, so I've been working for a year and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, she's young. I can relate. But when she went to her car, I was yeah. sold. I'm like, so okay, those no. little things which also catch the attention yes, to say, no, yes. I just want to be like, hey. And also, like I said, I didn't want to be a nurse because yeah. I don't like the working hours. My mom is a nurse and I hate her that she'd leave home for eight, like half past eight, half past five in the morning. And then she'd come after eight when we're like tired and we're sleeping. So we never really had that thing that didn't really grow up in my mom's face. Yeah. So like, I don't want this life. I don't want to be at work seven or 12 hours or whatever. So I knew I want to be in health, but not nursing. So when she told me that, no, actually I get to work at like seven and knock off at four, I'm like, I'm coming, this is for me. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's the, how. The current working hours do accommodate your, your schedule and everything. Yes, except we have night shift. I hate <laughs> night shift. I hate night shift, but no, I, I'm happy with the working hours. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's not like being a doctor or a nurse. And that's another thing that made me run away from that, medicine. Okay. Yes, because hey, the hours are crazy. I'm not discouraging anyone. So now for someone who would like to like uh, do radiographer, mm -hmm. uh, there's a high school student there or someone who have already passed and they want to see if they will be able to fit in. Um, which subjects are required in order for you to be able to and the APS which are required to be able to do radiograph? Okay, so they require your maths, um, pure maths, okay. unfortunately they don't take maths lit. Uh, as far as I know, UJ and um, so it's UJ, Sakomahato, and UP, they don't take meds leads. 
but I heard that Cape Peninsula does take meds lead. Okay. But um, we'll get to the APS of how much you need if you've got uh, meds lead. So you'll need your meds, your physics, your life sciences, and languages, two languages, okay. and all the other additional um, subjects. Subjects, yes. ah. So your APS, you will need a APS of 30 um, if you have meds, and it's 32 for meds lead. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. So it's above the calendar. <laughs> what is above the calendar? <laughs> the calendar, the calendar has 31 Oh, days, 31. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, above yeah. The, the, the calendar, yes. Yeah. yes. But also, if you are, sometimes, you know, you apply with the grade 11 results, and when you add up, it's like, you're running it like 28 APS or something like that. Yeah. If your metric results can top Com that and beat that, you... So you can use your grade 11 marks, yes. and then be on the waiting list if they put you there, and yes, then when yes. the grade 12 marks come, then you'll be able to... Uh, use those to yes, uh, get if your grade 12 marks are better than your yeah. your grade 11 marks then they can fully admit you okay yeah. no that's great then now um, in the radiograph space mm -hmm. do you have different specializations or if you're doing radiograph you are only doing radiograph it's one thing for all um, okay so in radiography itself there's different disciplines okay eh? So you have... Oh, you call them disciplines. <laughs> yes, For us, sorry. we call them specialization. Yes. Or disciplines. I've yes. learned it. <laughs> when I'm in the health side now, I'll be taking disciplines. disciplines. Okay. <laughs> so you have different disciplines. We've got diagnostic radiography, which is the one that I did. Okay. And then you have nuclear medicine. And in nuclear medicine, they do uh, mainly bone dentistry to check how strong your bones are, if okay. you're aging, how weak are they, stuff like that. So they do bone dentistry. And then you have ultrasound or sonography, and they're the ones that do the pregnant women. Oh, the, okay, yes. okay. And then you also have radiation therapy. So radiation therapists do um, cancer treatment okay. by using radiation. So we are all in the same radiography umbrella even in school we do the same modules we're in the same classes we only separate when, when you have you start to do to um we, we're actually in the same class from first year to final year but we separate from other modules oh, say okay. i have to do diagnostic specific modules then they will go to their therapies and ultrasounds and whatever whatever but also within diagnostic radiography there's this. other disciplines <laughs> <laughs> you, you i smart. catch the word <laughs> yes there's other disciplines within diagnostic radiography okay. yeah so yeah, there is little things. No, that nice to add. So there's something that I once had mm -hmm. that when you're a radiograph, you get uh, paid while uh, in Vasit. I had. I'm as not a sure. Student. Yeah, as a student, I'm not sure <laughs> about it, but I had some someone saying it. Okay, well, <clears throat> it's both true and not true. Okay. So as a, what happens as a student is that you have to do your practicals. Me. So it's a theory and practical based career. So. There are students that do their training in public hospitals. Okay. So if you're doing a training in public hospitals, you don't get paid. You are, oh. yeah, you're, you're a student Western. that is working, but you don't get paid. Okay. But if you are doing your practical in a private hospital, you do get paid. So how it works in private hospitals is that they treat you as an employee, although you're a student. Oh. So whatever um, employee rules or governing that depends on that the other, govern, yes. the other employees yes. also they apply also to you as a student so you only get paid if you are working in a private hospital oh nice to hear that yeah. so but that, that doesn't mean that people should run to a private <laughs> hospital hey we still need you well. on the public side to come help us otherwise everyone will be in, running to yes. the private unfortunately side. though private hospitals only take a limited number of students okay. per year. So in first year, they'll take two students, and then when those two students go to second year, they'll take two Another more. Two. Yeah, so it's limited. In public, galore. Like so first year, you have 15 students. So you start doing these practicals from first year? First year, yes. So you know, for us, we had to do practicals at the final year. Other than that, you wouldn't do anything. So if you are lucky enough and you get uh, that one on a private uh, hospital, mm -hmm. so it means you start getting that myth that I had, you start getting paid <laughs> from yes, the first year, but first if you're year. on the pub, public one then, so, but how is it, is, is it to get uh, those um, practicals? Does the school allocate you or you have to go look for them by yourself? Okay, then, you know, this is what actually bids a lot of people. Yeah. Till to this day, there are people who apply for radiography, but they don't know that they need a 
center to do their practicals. Okay. So when metric results come out, they'd be like, I applied at UJ and my, my marks are good enough, but they haven't uh, accepted me, only to find that you don't have a practice to do your practical so oh, they okay. can't accept you so school the school does not allocate you you have, have to, to yes it's like job hunting basically you have to go and apply and tell them i applied for radiography and i'm looking for a training center and they will conduct interviews yeah. and after the interviews they'll tell you if you're successful so like i said um public hospitals take more students so oh. chances are if you are looking for a practice you will get space in a public hospital. Considered you apply on time though. So when I, when I try to connect with the application and everything, mm -hmm. you are saying that in order for you to get that space on the varsity, you don't only have to apply for university, yes. but you also have to go to a, a hospital, private or public to say that I apply for to study radiography yeah. and I'll need to do practicals. Yes. So the moment they accept you, so do you have to go with an admission letter or you can go to say, I'm still waiting for them to okay, respond? That's, that's a very good one. <laughs> so what happens is you first apply at school. Okay. Can I just clarify yeah. that looking for, um, I know Sifako Mahato and UP, they place you. So you okay. rotate amongst hospitals. Hospitals, nice yes. Unless if you are going to be working in a private Private, you apply for yourselves. Okay. But public, they will rotate you. So oh, okay. you don't have to go and look, look for a for job. Yourself. That's in UP and Svakomakhat. But UJ and Cape Peninsula, I think and DUT as well, you mm. have to look for placement yourself. So how it works is you apply at the school and then they will tell you you're conditionally accepted based on your grade, 12, uh, grade 11 wow. results, blah, 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 blah. So they will send you an email with the list of hospitals that they work with. Okay. Yeah, so they're like, now that you're conditionally accepted, you have to go and secure a training center in one of these hospitals. So it's up to you whether you go personally or you call them or you send an email. Okay. And then you apply at those hospitals. Oh, no. That, that, I'm sure that one is cleared. Yeah. You have like some first years mm -hmm. and some grade 12 uh, student which we are currently having. I'm sure now they will want to know what to expect uh, in varsity and the okay. experience and which we had personally uh, what do you think and which advices can we give to one which is uh, doing first year or the one which are still going to apply and will be doing radiography okay so what i would say is that radiography demands you to grow up very quickly okay because we didn't have a lot of campus experience yeah we were mostly at work at the hospitals so what happens is you spend two weeks in class okay. on campus and then when that two weeks is over you spend another two weeks at work and the work two weeks is like normal work half past seven to four so after that when you go to rest you're tired you have your assignments and whatever whatever so there was not really time for you to be a campus student, student you know yeah, and have like yeah. your groove or whatever if you're a groove kind of person you yeah. didn't really have time for friends your friends are the people you were in class with basically because you don't socialize with other people so yeah. so the experience if i can understand it very right is that you are a semi-student semi-employee yes. because you spend like 50 percent in class and 50 percent at work yes but the nicest part about it is that it keeps you focused yeah there's so many distractions on campus you're filming if you have that free time you'll be yes, able to do yes yeah. yes there's so many distractions you know like if you stay on campus even worse it's better if you're staying at home because you know your you'll parents can like exactly but if you're like at a dress brah, no. oh. <laughs> so but so, yeah. there, there, there's that one person who like to have uh, at least a nice time you know 2000s are the yes. ones which are current <laughs> and the 2000s they love their things yes so they would like to ish, i don't want to be swamped with work my yeah. first day yeah. but i want to balance will you still be able to balance and have that weekend where you'll go out do your things and then still have that time to be able to balance do your work and also be able to do um your studies yeah mm -hmm. so there is so um i'm gonna speak from my experience at yeah. uj so at uj is in first year the first six months of your study, it's just campus. You don't go to work. Yeah. So it's just theory, 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 and whatever practice you have to do, you do it on dolls. Okay? So in that six months, you have like, you know, time for whatever you want to do. And then when you start going to work, you've already adjusted to campus life. Oh, okay. So you've probably made friends. So when you're off on weekends or on holidays and you're not home or whatever, when you're not at work rather, you can uh, chill with your other people. And when you progress to second year, you are now like, fully settled used. into campus yeah you're used to the environment so you can just 
balance your time and you know, okay, in this module I'm struggling, so if I can just um, prioritize studying this one, I can have like two hours of whatever, half the day with my friends. So you can have that life, it's just not abundant. You, know? oh, okay. you have to stay <laughs> focused, you have to that, stay that, focused. That's where university for you need yes, to Yes, yes. Even, even other, other modules, even if you are not working, uh, but the, the type of work that will get will need one to focus so otherwise focused, you'll lose yeah, it and yeah, then, yeah. yeah so I in terms of well, now you move and you start working mm -hmm. uh, what are the things that you didn't expect uh, or you expected and when you get to work you didn't find them okay so one is the working environment yeah i expected to have since it's like female dominated mm -hmm. i expected to have you know oh you're new so you're gonna have like a, a new a mentor, you know, yeah. somebody's gonna hold your hand and like, okay. So I've been doing this for like five, five years, years, and yeah, I'm gonna help you if you want to talk about budget or you wanna talk about stress at work, whatever, whatever. I expected to have somebody like that, yeah. Because I mean, it's a young dominated field, a lot of females, so I expected to have somebody. Brah, everybody's minding their own business. <laughs> <laughs> but for you, at least it's it's a bit easy because you think so. Remember, you you have you have been doing this for the okay, past yes, past yes, years. Yes. So when you get there, at least you know that I operate this machine in this way. I operate yes, this yes, in this yes. way. Compared to some, you need for us when you get to where you will really need them to otherwise yes. because they still need to teach you how to. Um, join the, the the working environment yeah. the corporate world yes, but for the theory to practice, to practical yeah. so at least you have done that 50 yes, percent practicals yes. but just like anyone else when you get to a new place you'll need that person yeah, to say embrace to you to say no walk you through the thing exactly so, yeah. yeah but it wasn't that much but like you're saying we had that experience from school and yeah. the students and we were practicing so it wasn't that bad when you work get into, even if it's a new environment yeah. you already know this is what an x-ray machine looks like and this is what i'm expecting to do with an x-ray machine okay. so you you have the background even if you're not familiar with the specific software or the specific machine you still have the basics so you know i can always get away with doing what i want to do so so if, if if i can ask like if you have to put it and on lace men lace men men's terms, terms. Yes. Um, for someone who doesn't understand what a radiographer is, even after what we spoke about, mm -hmm. what would you say and what are the things that to make them understand, to say this is what we do? Okay, so basically um, radiography as a whole is about taking pictures, mm -hmm. in simplest terms, taking pictures and videos of the human body. That's okay. basically what it's about. And we use um Not with radiation. that camera, but too. <laughs> Yes. Someone <laughs> might take picture and then you yeah. say, no, what do I have to study just to take, to take a picture? pictures? Yes, well, yeah. we, we use radiation for the uh, pictures that we take. And it's not just simple pictures. It, it depends on the kind of exams you were saying. Yeah. Like I said previously, that under diagnostic itself, we have smaller umbrellas. So you have your general x-rays, you have your specialized x-rays. So, so if my hand is broken and everything, yes. then they have to go and take all those x-rays. Yes. It's a radiographer who yes. performs such, yes. okay? Yes, yes. Now the, I know. The I just. I just, yeah, I just, I just thought, ah, I'm going to take x-ray. Who is doing it? You don't it's a get, doctor. It's a doctor, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get that even at work. Yeah. Uh, when you're working with patients, you're either sister or doctor. doctor. Yeah. Yes, they don't really know who you are. As long as you work at the hospital, you're wearing like this, you're, you're a, doctor a doctor or a sister. Yeah. That's all, yeah. So that's what um, radiography is about. Oh, oh okay. So um, now there, there's, there's someone who has like a phobia of blood. Mm -hmm. And do you get to deal with people... Uh, which are bleeding or whatever do you have get to, to deal with such incidents um, yeah basically almost every day not almost actually every day if okay. you're working in a hospital you will have to deal with somebody who's bleeding sometimes they come up with like their finger is like oh. detached and she shows you yeah I have my finger and you know That's so you deal with so much of bleeding people you deal with puking people people messing themselves so yeah. all of that is expected and also um, besides you having to deal with maybe a trauma patient coming from an accident yeah. and they need an x-ray we also have like like I said the specialized units where maybe okay so I can just give you an example one of the specialized units is where we check the movement of the blood vessels yeah so in that when it happens sometimes something goes wrong and like a patient's um, vein um, burst Bust, and then yeah. it's like blood everywhere so um, the radiographer's role by the way in the checking of the flow is that like i said we take videos and pictures so while the 
doctors or whoever is responsible is injecting a dye into the system, you as a radiographer have to be following and taking videos and pictures of that. So should anything go wrong, you will also be in the Pardon scene that. and yes. Oh, okay. So, but do you get used to uh, doing that on day to day or like, can, can someone <coughs> adjust not to feel blood okay. or? You, you can adjust. Well, not for coming from a point of, I'm so scared I can't deal with this. Yeah. But if you're coming from a point of, I've never dealt with this, but I'm willing to, I'm not really scared. Okay. Then you can just get used to it and it just becomes daily brain. You know, like now if somebody bleeds to me, it's like, oh, okay, let's just see what is wrong. You know, it's not that. And can I just tell you a story? Yeah. There was a time uh, a girl came to observe. So what happens is some people choose to come and observe before they apply. Oh, okay. So that they know what is happening. So she came to observe and right now I'm working in a small hospital. So we don't really get like crazy, crazy cases. We do have crazy cases usually like at night. Yeah. But during the day it's chilled. It's like your old people with TB, yeah. you know, somebody fell, nothing crazy. So this girl came to observe during the day. She saw what we do, the x-rays and whatever, whatever, whatever. So she applied. Cool, UJ takes her, great. She goes for the interview, it's fine. Yeah. First year comes, that was last year. Last year was her first year. They go on to practice to the hospitals now because yeah. she passed her interview, she got placed. And when she got there, she saw a patient with a pipe coming out of the, the uh, chest. Yeah. It was draining blood into a bottle. We call that an icy blood um, a drain. So she saw that and she hadn't seen it when she came to observe. Ish. Yo, oh. she fainted. <laughs> And from there, like, no, I'm not doing radiography. When I went to observe, it was so chilled. There was like nothing now, crazy like something this. Something else. Yes, and now I'm seeing people with pipes coming out of the soul. Yeah, it can get really crazy. Sometimes it's just a normal day, nothing crazy. And sometimes it's days where people are coming with pangas on their head. Yeah. Somebody comes from a scooter and their leg is chopped off. It can get really crazy. You guys, you need counseling at some point. <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> like you have well, been on a trauma trauma well, session some like you need you need one of those we just screw that thing yeah. you know like you know it's either I get strong or nothing happens so you just get strong and you get used to it so after dealing with this type of trauma i'm sure someone will want to know at least will i be compensated uh, nice like will, <laughs> <laughs> will i still be able to remember when you said when when you um you were talking with that lady she went to a car Will I be able yeah. to afford you know, that installment, at least balance my life, have a okay. lifestyle at that moment? You can. Honestly, you can. It, okay, from my perspective, yeah. I feel like you can live whatever life you want to live with radiography. Okay. Consider that you are smart about it. You know, in radiography, like I said, there's disciplines. So if you choose to specialize in something uh, specific, yeah. it means that you get your like bag is getting bigger. Oh, okay. If you choose to work in a bigger hospital, it means your bag is getting bigger. So there really is different doors for you to actually get the bigger bag. Okay. So yeah, you can actually afford a lifestyle. Um, also depending what kind of a lifestyle it you is. Not to. the Gupta's kind yeah. of lifestyle, but <laughs> a comfortable yeah. enough lifestyle. Yeah, yeah no. Um, thank you very much um, for sharing this information. Yeah. I believe that is going to help someone out there. Um, so if you are doing radiographer or you want to study radiographer and you want more information about it She also has a YouTube channel and I've seen and some of the interviews where you can be able to uh, Check before you can go to those interviews She help you prepare and all those and the application processes So if you didn't get more on this one, please tune on a YouTube channel uh, Theo Damari, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. So and if you comment, don't you? Yeah. Say something, leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if there's something that you want to say before we close this one out, an advice to someone else, uh, a word of wisdom which you want to say, oh I don't God. know which I know. <laughs> You will choose, that's why I'm giving you options. You will choose okay. which one you want to okay. say. Yeah. Well, as far as I can say is if you wanted, you Go for it and you can get it, definitely get it. Sometimes it can be a little steepy, sometimes it can be rocky. But I mean, nothing is impossible, man. If somebody else could do it, so can you. What's stopping you? We are all having the same 24 hours, living under the same sun. So anything is possible. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Po, 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 po. Bye. <laughs>